Okay, this one's a little annoying. Uh, so, hey everyone, what's up? Welcome back to Silent Fields Gone Thought of Liberty City Stories Let's Play. Now, in this one, uh, it's called Scrapyard Challenge. You have to get on a Sanchez parked at the scrapyard, and once you get onto the specific Sanchez, then Coronas are going to appear around the scrapyard, and um, they're worth different points, and you have to get at least 21 points to beat this side mission. Um, some of them are a bit annoying to get. I try to go through the best path here, but, I mean, it's, you know, you could go wherever you can go. Like, you don't have to get all the Coronas, just as many as you can, uh, to get 21 points. So, just look for the easy ones first. Um, but, of course, at the beginning, do kind of try to follow the path that I, you know, provide here in the video. And then from there on, go where you would like, uh, but... I do manage, of course, to get it, else I wouldn't be posting this video. So, with that being said, let's start with Scrapyard Challenge. Alright, so I'm just showing you, as usual, where we will start this side mission, which is way up here, up north in Portland, at the junkyard. Now, before I actually do it, I'm going to show you all something else first. So, you, as you know, the car crusher is here, and to get it going, you just park any vehicle into this little uh, section here, and the crane will automatically pick it up and slowly take it over into the uh, crusher here, which, I don't know, it's kind of just fun to watch, I guess. I don't know why, it just is. I wish it would spit it out into, like, a block or something, but anyway, so, um, I, there is a reason why I'm showing you all this, though. So, yep, just let it go in, and then the car crusher will start here soon enough, I believe. I hope. Yep, here we go. Coming down, and... Junk value, $71. So, as you can see, any vehicles you get there, you get a little extra boost of cash. But now for the actual side mission itself, so you'll see this like little building over here. Uh, just go around to the back of it, and you'll find the Sanchez. So hop onto it to start the Scrapyard Challenge. And with the magic of editing, we are at my uh, final attempt to get this, because trust me, it did take me several tries. So you get... Um, was it one point for green, two for yellow, three for red? And they're just spread out all over. So you will always start at this location. So the best way to go about it, and you'll see me screw up a few times, like right now. I didn't, what you want to do though, is drift a little more to the left to ramp up the grassy slope to get on top of that trailer there. And then turn around and get that single point. But I'm going to just attempt this again. So that's kind of how you want to start it. Yep, yep, just get up there to get the three points. And then that's when you want to, like I said, turn around, like do a U-turn, grab the single point, and then stop, and then make a right, and ramp onto the uh, derelict school bus here for the two points, and then just ramp off the end to get the other single point. Uh, make a right, go all the way up to this wall here, and then just kind of back up a little bit to it, and there you go. This is where you want to ramp to get the single point and then get the three points up top here. And try to land, as you can see, I didn't quite make it, but try to land to where you get that single point as well on the other side. But if not, that's fine. Just go up onto the grass here and you'll see this uh, green corona, the single point uh, on the sledge. Now line yourself up to where you can ramp off and get the uh, yellow point after. And then, since I missed it, I'm going to go ahead and just kind of head on back to get the single point here. <clears throat> and then I was trying to decide, I think, of where I wanted to go after this. Um, I know I'm kind of wasting time because you see you are timed. And you do have to get, like I said, you don't have to get all the Coronas. You just have to get at least 21 points for it. So what I'm going to do is get this yellow one. And I'm not going to waste too much time on the red one. Like, you know, if you can uh, get it in one fell swoop, perfect. If not, like... You, you know, I did not there, then I'm not going to worry too much about it. But I'm just going to go ahead and do another U-turn, go to the top of this little hill here to get the single point, and then go down to get the yellow point. I guess technically I could have stayed up top to get the other yellow point, then just drop down to get the second one to get a score of 22. Instead, I just backed up and did a ramp with the second left to get three points. <laughs> and I'm out of time, which is fine, because now I have 23 points, which we had to beat the score of 20. So, with that, we should get a mission passed. Yep, with a new high score of 23 points. And, the 
you now get four times as much cash for using the car crusher. So as you saw, I got the $71 before, so think of it like 71 times four. Uh, you just get extra cash, and that would be it for that. So let's check here on the percentage, which of course I maybe should have gone the other way, but whatever. Just gonna keep on going up, 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 up. Uh, scroll faster. I guess I could just fast forward the video here, but whatever. It's all good. I didn't want to have to stop the narration just to do this and then restart it. So now we'll be at 6% towards 100% completion. So that is it for this video, everyone. As always, go and save your game. Uh, and I will see you all on the next one. I love you all. Peace out. And until next time, adios.